In this video, we'll demonstrate the Voltage Profile Optimization function. The Voltage Profile Optimization study case should be active. The command is found in the Distribution Network Optimization toolbox. Voltage Profile Optimization is used to optimize distribution transformer taps over the expected range of network load and generation conditions. To start with, we'll see if the defined limits are exceeded if no changes to the tap positions are made. The calculation can consider both consumption and production cases. Let's just focus on the production case, which means high levels of generation infeed. In this case, we'd expect high voltages rather than low voltages to be the problem. The MV load elements actually represent LV grids, and these parameters in the load elements are used for modeling the maximum voltage drop and rise within the LV grids with respect to the transformer LV side voltage. When the calculation is executed, the resultant per unit voltages in the LV grids are then compared with these limits. Here, we can see the scaling factors to be used for the analysis. And here, we also define limits for the voltage rise or drop across the transformers. The command is executed. This icon gives access to the reports. We'll select the two reports relating to voltage rise. In this report, we can see that one load breaches the limit for voltage rise across the transformer. And in this report, breaches of the upper voltage limit are seen. There are many MV loads where the voltages in the LV grid exceed the limit. Let's look at feeder FD01 as an example. Violations are reported for three loads in this feeder. We can use this icon to create a voltage profile plot for this feeder. The upper and lower voltage limits can be added. We can see how the three reported loads breach the upper voltage limit. Let's now return to the Voltage Profile Optimization command and select the Optimization option. Now, the calculation will adjust the tap positions of the transformers to find the optimal settings. The selection of maximization of generation as the objective function means that if multiple tap positions of the distribution transformer meet the given limits, the result with the lowest voltage level will be used. The calculation is executed and immediately we can see that the voltage limits are no longer breached for this feeder. Let's run the reports again. An extra report is now available which shows the optimal tap positions that have been determined. We can see that no critical voltage rise across the transformer is reported. And all elements are within the upper voltage limit. This report shows the optimal tap positions determined by the analysis. Suppose we want to transfer these settings back into our network model. This is easy to do, but if we don't want to lose our original starting point, we can use an operation scenario to store the changed data. 
This icon is used to store the tap settings back to the database. And the scenario can be saved. If we want to compare the two sets of tap settings, we can use the Scenario Manager. We can compare the initial state with no scenario active and the optimized tap scenario. Then select Tap Positions to be displayed. The original state can be restored by simply deactivating the scenario.